Hey guys, Ivan here, and in this video we are looking at the pre-judging of the classic physique Mr. Olympia 2023 and basically we got almost the same story like last year Chris Bumstead and Ramon Dino got a two-man call out, they're the top two and the other six guys are almost the same like last year so Brion Ainsley, Terence Ruffin, Wesley Wiesers who was 8th last year now I think he's gonna be higher, like 6th or something like that Mike Sommerfeld is there also and instead of Fabian Meyer who didn't compete this year we have Michael Dabul in that top 8 so top 8 is the same like last year only the results might be different but I don't think they're gonna be that much different I think Chris Bumstead is winning even though this year the battle between him and Ramon is much closer than last year I think Ramon progressed a lot and Chris looks pretty much the same just without the bicep tear and I think that's just enough for him to win this show I don't think it gets any better than this and he's not off he doesn't have any visible tears, any visible injuries, he is in good condition, he's big and full, biceps look more symmetrical than last year, so I think he did enough, I think he definitely did enough to win this show, but I gotta say, Ramon Dino is actually pushing him this year. I was really surprised when I saw how much closer it actually was this year, I think Ramon Dino improved his back, I think his legs looked bigger, I think overall he looked like more dense, I think he showed more details, more maturity, I think he progressed way more than Chris did, is it enough to really beat Chris? No, no, but I think it's a close call, if Chris wasn't who Chris Bumstead is, maybe Ramon would have a chance, but this way no, I think in order for him to beat Chris he needs to knock him out. And he definitely didn't do that, not this year. Back was comparable this year, but Ramon lacked detail on the lower body from behind. In the front poses, Chris just had more developed and more detailed legs, and overall just the V-taper, the axe taper, the muscle maturity, the density of the physique, Chris is just a little bit better, a little bit better. Not much, not by a lot, but was a little bit better. But look guys, I was watching the live stream, I don't know what it looked like in person, it could be much different, maybe the conditioning is not showing properly on the live stream and on these photos, maybe Ramon is like much sharper than Chris, and I could see that, like maybe his skin is thinner, maybe he's actually leaner, maybe he's drier, and if that is the case, then I wouldn't be too surprised if he beat Chris Bumstead tonight. So anything is possible, really, last year I thought it was super convincing, I thought it was an easy win for Chris last year, but now it's definitely not that easy, it's definitely not so certain, based on what I'm seeing, based on the photos and the videos and the live stream, it seems like it's much closer, much much closer than last year, we actually got a proper battle, and honestly it is, a po it is possible that Chris might lose this. It's not likely, I would still say Chris won this show, but anything is possible, we'll see, we'll find out tonight. Here's the photo of the original first callout, the top 6 callout, before they had a 2 man callout. And here you can see that actually like these two guys are standing out, it's definitely 2 man show. And as you can see right here, maybe Ramon does look a little bit drier, maybe. But if you talk about the structure, the classic structure, just the muscularity, the shape of the muscle, uh, how, how much Chris's lats are popping, how narrow his waist is, the way his vacuum is looking here, uh, the thickness of his legs, the actually even the, even the arms, it's crazy, but even the arms are flowing really well with the rest of his physique, so I think he has that classic physique look. As he says, he established the look. It doesn't really matter whether he's a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. And I would say, I would add, it doesn't really matter if he's a little bit more conditioned or a little bit less conditioned. Because he has the look, he has that physique that is, I would say, definitely the best classic physique in the world right now. Now, if you talk about the classic shape, the classic physique structure, then Urs also has one that is really, really good. But he's just simply not on the level of muscularity of the development of Ramon Dino. So even though at first they thought this might be a top three call out, you know, those three guys that maybe Urs can challenge Ramon, 
Yeah, later I figured out, no, 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 Ramon is definitely much better than Urs, and Urs will likely end up in third, I think he's winning the second callout, as you can see, Brian Ainsley got pushed to the middle, he switched spots with Terence Ruffin, who was next to Urs before, I think Terence didn't put enough oil on him, I think he was conditioned, but he looked too dry, and I think his small stature is definitely hurting him here, and I felt like Wesley Vissers will probably jump places, as I said, I think he's gonna be in that top 6, his conditioning is not spot on, I think it was better last year, but with his crazy big frame, with all this size and with his crazy structure as well, he's really drawing attention, so I would probably go Urs, then Brion or Terence, and then Wesley Vissers, and then uh, Michael the Bull and uh, Mike uh, Sommerfeld at the end. That's how I would go with this, you guys can tell me what do you think. Alright, now let's take a closer look at the top 5, so Urs Kalicinski, did he progress this year? Well, I wouldn't say so, I mean in the offseason he seemed like much much bigger, but once he stepped on that stage, as you can see in the upper body, his arms looked the same like before, his upper body overall didn't really grow that much, maybe his back is a little bit thicker, but that's about it, it seems like his waist is even bigger, I think his legs grew, but that was always a strong point for him, and I don't know if it is just this photo, but it seems like his waist got bigger, so I don't think this is an improved version of Urs Kalecinski, but I think it's gonna be a good enough version for him to remain in that top 3, now what about Brion Ainsley, I think he looked better, I think he definitely improved, I think he looked fresher, I think he brought his signature condition, but he was I think fuller, I think he looked fresher, but I don't think he's gonna jump places from last year, last year he was 4th, and I think he's gonna be 4th this year as well, I don't see him beating Urs, or of course Ramon or Chris, so best case scenario 4th, maybe even 5th, maybe even 6th, who knows, maybe he's gonna be beaten by Wesley Wissers and Terence Ruff in both, and Urs Kalecinski, it's not impossible, I think that top 6 can be, can go either way, but I'm pretty sure Urs is 3rd, and the rough diesel, Terence Ruffin, I mean, he brought conditioning, but once again, he didn't put enough oil, on that stage he looked too, too dry, and again, his structure is actually hurting him, when he's standing next to those guys who are much, much taller than him, so it's kind of really hard to notice him, if he stands next to Wesley Vissers, who is like 6 foot 3. So, yeah, once again, Chris Bumstead probably did enough to defend his victory, to win his 5th title, but I'm not so sure. I mean, look at Ramon once again. Take a good look and tell me, what do you think? Did Ramon do enough to win, to beat Chris Bumstead? Whatever you guys think, tell me in the comment section down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And for more content similar to this, subscribe to this channel, guys. Thank you so much for watching. All the best and bye-bye.